perfect, it did it. Haha, <laughs> I'm a genius. Oh boy, I'm liking this, I'm liking this a lot. I like the how easy it is to produce stuff over time as long as you place the things properly. Okay, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Orcish Inn. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon. So we covered this bad boy as a one-shot, and I asked you guys if you wanted to see some more to let me know. And the feedback was actually quite overwhelming. It seems you guys are interested in watching more of this going forward. So I will cover a few more episodes here at the very least. I'm not entirely sure how much content is in the game just yet. As I mentioned, it is a pre-alpha game at the moment. But um, I do know there's a lot to be done. So at the very least, there is that. For now, let's actually get into the game and show you what I've done here. So... I did re-roll my game. I'm back at the same spot I was last time with the first video, but I have a different biome. And I like this one a bit better because it gave me some time to like look at the biome off camera, see if I liked it without taking too much of your time. As you can see over here, I have a really big feel to maybe start farming pretty soon. I have my tent over here, and more importantly, I have some pretty cool bodies of water to fish for stamina restoration. So I'm hoping this will kind of help me out going forward. Um, for now, what I really want to focus on to begin with is probably some inventory areas to store wood, ore, and stuff like that because it keeps overburdening me, which is really problematic. So if I go over to you over here, let's see, we're looking for, no, not that, we're looking for utility, and I'm looking for the ones that let me store yards that I'm looking for. So at the moment, I need apparently wood yard. I can build this right now, perfect. So let's get this bad boy up and running. And we'll probably place you... I don't know, maybe here for now? What do, you mean? what do you mean you have F resources? Yes, you do. Oh, I gotta... Did you make it first, Falcon? Oh, I do have enough resources, right? There, there it is. <laughs> Weird. Maybe I clicked the wrong one. It's possibly it. So there we go. This is where we could store now our wood, it does seem. giggity giggity. Um, let's see, how does this work? Shift to flip. Set wall placement. Uh, I'm not looking to do that. Uh, I can store more if I want to, which is actually kind of great, too. Yeah, I mean, we're going to collect a lot of wood, so why not? We'll do something like that. Okay. Well, let's come back over here, and we're also going to need one for stones as well. So let's do that one, and we'll place you like bam, bam, and bam. Okay. And we should probably get one for ore as well. So we have stone. We have one for ingots, too. We're going to need some more rope for this, though, it does seem, huh? Well, for now, let's do the ore one. We'll do bam, bam, bam. Okay. I'm liking it. And finally, with what little rope we have, we'll get at least one ingot yard up and running. Now, what's the other one down here? What is this? A silo. The silo can store not only crops, but a big load of them. It also has an increased decay protection. Items do decay over time in this game, by the way. Um, so there's a lot of, like, honestly, a lot of complexity to the game, which is really surprising to me. But um, obviously, I don't know much about it. Hopefully I learn as I can go along here. So we now have our yards, which is great. We can store any excess wood over here. Now, with this done, let's come over to not fishing, survival. It seems we've done everything on survival for now. Let's go to production, though. Mining ores, farming, and trading. Let's do the production here if we can. Mining ores. Iron ores are gathered from stone boulders or stone patches, but also from ore found on cliffs. When you are gathering resources in the wilderness, keep in mind that items have a weight. Right. Right. So, I already did the wooden yard, stone yard, or ore yard. I need to gather one iron ore. Okay. And they're gathered from stone boulders. Okay. So, let's go ahead and bring out my trusty little weapon here. This, by the way, is not ice, as we are all led to believe. I, I was reading in the comments, and the developers said that it's actually a rock plate or something like that, but it's not actually ice, so <laughs> I guess we were all wrong about that one. But it does, does look very icy. And I'm pretty sure that right now gave us our ore, but let me just go ahead and bring everything down right now, because why not? There it is. Cool. And we should have gotten that right there. So one extra knowledge point, too. That's perfect. The furnace. The furnace is available on the production category and the building menu. It works outdoors and its function is to cook and melt all sorts of items, like iron ores to iron ingots. When a uh, furnace is placed, you can click on it. It will open the inventory as well as the furnace's storage, which is shown as a blue background. You can interact with storages like with other traders. Okay, so build a furnace and produce one iron ingot. I skipped a lot here, didn't I? To make the furnace work, put some fuel, like a log, and some iron ores in it. 
Be aware that the furnace needs enough storage space for its products, so filling it up will prevent the furnace from actually melting the ore, so it does need some space. You can actually you can use many items as fuel and even produce charcoal later. Fuel items have a so-called fuel stability, which is told in the item's description. It's the chance that they are get lowered by quality. Okay, cool. So build the furnace, which is in our production tab, I think is what it said. Production tab, yeah. Or category. So let's come over here to this and production. Malt box. A beer brewing. Well, we're going to run a tavern at some point. So here's the furnace right here. We do have everything required for it, so let's click away. I wish we had like a more ideal spot to put a furnace, but for now it's going to have to just do like maybe here. You do have enough resources. What do you mean you don't have enough? Oh, we're missing a rope. So that we are missing. Wait, wait a minute. No, there was no rope involved with this. There we go. Huh. It's really finicky, like somehow I switched over to a yard again. I'm not even sure how I did that, but I did. Well, either way. There we go. So, we're supposed to make an iron ingot material, so we could also make our bread here. Iron ingot requires fuel production, which we're missing. There it is, and haha! -ha! And now it's basically smelting it away. Perfect! Okay, so it works straight up like it mentioned, like the trading. Just um, hold shift and click and it sends the item over there. Perfect. And that'll give us our iron ingot, and I could probably move around and do some other stuff meanwhile, right? Yeah, look, it's actually on fire, too! Well, it's not literally on fire, but the furnace is um, lit up in order to smelt the iron ore into an iron ingot. Perfect. <laughs> I'm like, as I mentioned, I'm learning this as I go along, so please bear with me. Don't feel like, hey, what are you doing here, you moron? It's like, well, I'm a moron because I don't know much about it. I'm learning as I go along here. So, the furnace is now done. That gave us one knowledge point and five charcoal. Perfect. Maybe we'll learn about this next here. The sawmill. One of the key production machines in the saw is the sawmill. It will turn logs into planks, which are then used for building houses and furniture. So, produce some lumber planks and produce the decorative planks. So, in order to do this, we need to get the sawmill up and running first, right? So, that should be in production as well. Um, before I do anything else, though, let's see here, my friend. Can you sell me a couple of ropes? Because I'm out of them and I'm pretty sure I'll need them pretty soon. So, let's do... Oh no, maybe like, how much did I buy right now? Seven? Bring me up to ten. Cool. Do you have any other food for sale? You have seeds for sale, which I know I'm going to need them at some point, so I might, you might as well just buy them now, huh? Let me buy those seeds for now. Nails, I think we're okay for now. Everything seems pretty good. We're starving though, so let me come and get some food here. Where's my bread at? Bread. Cool. And in case you're wondering about the stamina thing, you could easily recover by... No, get, not by swimming. Get out of there, dude. Uh, you could easily recover by just fishing. It doesn't take too long as well to, like, fish. Like, my concern was, like, if I was gonna, like, play this, if I was gonna have to, like, you know, recover stamina by fishing, it's gonna take a while. But as you can see right now... Oh! I think we got it. Boom! We got something. I'm not sure. I don't think it was the puffer fish. We got something. You see my stamina? Going up now? Amazing, right? So it doesn't take too long, which is great. I don't think that was a pufferfish, although it was an anchovy. Hey! Well, it was in the pufferfish, but we got one of them. So, knowledge point, and we also got two reputation. I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what that means, reputation. I guess maybe for your... Don't, don't fish out here, what's wrong with you? Maybe for your tavern or something? Well, either way. That's done, our stamina's back, we're no longer starving. Let's go back to the sawmill, correct. So, I guess we have to go back to utility for that. Or production, I should say. Here's the sawmill. This requires... Oh, the... <laughs> it requires the ingot, which I'm pretty sure I never picked up from here. We grab your item. So here's my ingot, and apparently there's another log still in there. It didn't completely burn. How about that? So let's collect you. Cool. And orc merchant's gone for the day. So we can sleep now if we want to, but I'm gonna just work overnight, because our stamina and hunger is still looking pretty decent. So let's go back into our production, and let's do our... Sawmill, if we can. Right over here. Ooh, wow, you take up quite a bit of space, don't you? Well... I guess we're looking for green. I, I prefer to have you, like, next to the furnace, but... Man. I really don't like the placement. I, I really want to set up some proper walls, have, like, a proper working area, because this right here kind of bothers my OCD. But whatever. I guess for now you just post up right... Over here. This grass has got to go. Can I can I bring this grass down? I'm curious now. Grass, can you go? 
No. I probably need a proper tool. What is the fifth one? Oh, here we go. I just, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Get on out of here, grass. I want to be able to see my the working area. So here we go. Okay, I was considering, I was like, you know, wondering like if there's a way to kind of remove this. But yeah, we do have that. And this is giving us, it does seem like seeds, if I'm right. Are those seeds? They seem to have like a seed package here. Yeah, grass seeds. Okay, cool. I'm sorry. OCD, OCD, what can I say? So it's partially gone now. We have to do what? What are we trying to produce? The sawmill. We're looking to produce some lumber planks and some decorative planks. Now, luckily for us, I do believe I, have, I should have oak and the um, apple ones as well. So, ideally, materials, right? Let's see here. So this will be for the regular one, but we still need some oak ones, or at least the apple ones for the decorative ones as well. So, let's see. Apple trees? Should I just go by the leaf design? Like, what are you supposed to be, huh? Here we go! Apple! Ha <laughs> ha! You know what? Let's actually just bring this down and just collect as much of this as possible. And we can just store it into our little yard anyway. Oh god, the speed. The speed is real. And I think you could basically break down how many you want to send over this way. So if I want to do 10, would that work that way? Yep. Perfect. That's a really good system. Okay. Oh, I'm still... Well, I'm slightly overweight, but not really too much is going to impede my walking speed. So now we come over here, and first and foremost, we collect what we got. And now we toss in the apple log. And it'll give us the decorative planks. All right, cool. Making some progress. When do we start doing the farming? I can do that now, right? I can. Preparing the land. So meanwhile, that does its own thing over here. Set up a 5x5 five five patch of prepared land. Um, so you have to go to outdoor floors for that. So if I'm correct, let's get out of here for one. Let's see, outdoor floors, and we're looking for fertilizer. Right over here. So we're looking for a 5x5 five five land, and I guess over here will be just fine. Mm, is this... Looks like marshland to me. So we'll do something like... 5x5. Five five. Perfect. Okay. Preparing land. Claim our reward. Planting oat. So this will be a way for us to make our bread going forward, which is really one of the better foods to have. Oh, shit, I'm really tired. I forgot all about that. All right, hold up. We'll, we'll do that afterwards. I need to get some rest. Let's also collect my plank over here. Okay, so it's daytime. Can I still sleep, I wonder? I hope so. Otherwise, I have to kind of fish for a while. Some food. Uh, no. Can't sleep. Damn. So we're gonna have to fish a little bit here. Otherwise, if you don't sleep and my stamina gets too high, then you get an infection and that could be problematic. Let's see. Fishies. I mean, as long as we find a fish, it should be an easy fill-up, so I'm not really too worried about it. Just a matter of observing whenever the bait starts jumping up and down. We might have to go to a different area to fish, though. Come on. No, that didn't work. Oh, we got something! Hey! <laughs> I didn't even see it move up and down, but we caught something. Great, there's my stamina go back up. We still need to fish a bit more. I'll pick you up here pretty soon, dude. Let's just get my stamina back up first, otherwise we'll get an infection. It's no good. Oh, no! Stop it! Current's too strong! Current took it away. Goddamn wave, stop it right now. I'm just trying to get some stamina back, alright? There it is. Chill right here. Chill. Oh, we got something, I think. Oh, we got some items, actually, too. Hmm. What the hell was that? <laughs> I'm kind of curious about that. What did I just pick up? It was like fabric of some kind. Wet, heavy bedding. Hey! How about that? All right, cool. Oop. Fishy here. Hey, buddy. There we go. I think stamina is looking a lot better. Yeah. So that's cool. All right, let's pick up my decorative planks now. No longer the case. Here we go. Now we have it. Perfect. So claim the reward. Storage interaction. Production storages can get overfilled quite fast. Luckily, production machines interact with nearby... St <gasps> really? Production machines interact with nearby storages? If you select a production machine like a furnace or a sawmill, you will see a bunch of white markers. The white circles indicate the place where the production can interact with storages. Which is often in a direct neighborhood. Oh, so it's got to be nearby. 
Place a chest or any other storage like wood yards or ore yards near the furnace and it will automatically grab materials out of it and put the products back? Example, when you place a wood yard and a chest alongside a furnace, it will grab fuel from the wood yard as well as the ores from the chest. It will also put the produce to iron ingots. Yeah, yes. That's amazing, but... Damn, <laughs> I placed them all far away thinking... I was thinking ahead of time, like trying to store some items, but apparently it works over here as well. Now, can I remove you? Can I, like, move you guys out of the way, perhaps? Or am I boned? Hold up. So what if I use my collection tool? It's already fully repaired. Oh, I... Oh, I think I just picked it up. Hold up. Hold up. Falcon's a little bit excited, I think, right? I think I might have figured out. Hope so. I click you guys. You guys go back into my inventory, and then I can just place you down, correct? Tell me that's how it works. Tell me that's how it works. I'll be really happy right now. Yes, it looks like it. So, stone yard would be ideal. Obviously, next to the furnace. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Now, it did say click on it to see the interaction markers, right? So, hold up. You can kind of see... I'm not sure if you saw it, but you saw the white markers just now. Um, the thing is... Here we go. You see them? So you move away, that's how you can see them. So, as long as it's directly next to it, you should be fine. I see. So, Woodyard. Let's place you, obviously, right here. And right here. How do I have... I'm... <laughs> I'm confused as to where this one came from. Because I only had two that were removed. Whatever, I'm not going to ask questions. So, does this work with you the same way? E yes, but for you, this one's not being worked out to. i got to be in front of you or next to you immediately. And I can't put you next to you because there's a bit of a raised area right here. So, it's got to be right in front. Okay, so... That means... You come with me, if you want to live, and we'll place you here. Haha! -ha! All right, sweet. So now I guess I could just give it ingots or ores, and it'll just kind of do its own work there. Oh no, this is for stones, correct? Yeah, which is what we got here. Hmm. So the the same should apply for the ores, correct? So maybe keep one stone and then keep one ore would be more ideal. Yeah, so for instance, you come with me. And we place you right here. So we have a stone one and the ore one forward. And I guess as long as I... This is the furnace. Iron ingot, oat bread, baked tuna. Sweet! And we can make all sorts of food over here too. But for the oat bread, we're going to need to start doing our farming, which I started but it didn't really finish. Okay, so for the iron ingot though... I can just go ahead and give it some iron ore, which I do have. It was uh, too much room, so it's got to have room to produce what it's going to dump off. I see. But it should also be storing into here, assuming... Oh, that is probably where the ingot yard comes into play. So ideally, maybe we don't really need the stone one after all. The one that we do need is the ingot one, where it gives you the produced product already. So... Bam. Bam. Okay. Perfect, it did it! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm a genius! Oh boy, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I like the how easy it is to produce stuff over time as long as you place the things properly. Okay. Well, I'm getting a good hang of this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. I will do another episode or two here. As I mentioned, I hope you're not too dissatisfied with my slower progress here, but I don't know much of the game. I'm learning as I go along, but I think we're picking up pretty well. It's really all a matter of paying attention to the menus, though, but... I like the fact you can automate stuff by itself as long as the proper yards and storage is nearby. It actually is going to make production a lot easier down the line. Uh, I guess we'll do farming next time around and maybe start getting like a little small shack up and everything. That'd be pretty cool for a sleeping spot as opposed to this goddamn tent. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.